Ratan Tata, one of India's most iconic business leaders, has left an indelible mark on both the Indian and global business landscapes. His leadership of the Tata Group, philanthropy, and personal achievements have made him a symbol of integrity and visionary business practice. Ratan Tata was born on December 28, 1937, in Mumbai, into a distinguished Parsi family with strong ties to India's business and philanthropic community. He is the great-grandson of Jamsiji Tata, the founder of the Tata Group, which began in 1868. After completing his education in the United States, including a degree in architecture and structural engineering from Cornell University in 1962 and an advanced management program at Harvard Business School in 1975, Ratan Tata joined the Tata Group in 1961. Ratan Tata's early years at Tata included working on the shop floor at Tata Steel, where he gained hands-on experience. Over the next few decades, he took on various roles within the company and eventually took over as chairman of Tata Sons in 1991. This marked the beginning of a transformative era for the Tata Group. Under his leadership, the company expanded from being primarily an India-focused entity into a global conglomerate with diverse interests, ranging from steel and automobiles to information technology and hospitality. Tata's leadership was pivotal in modernizing the group, driving acquisitions and steering it into new markets, both domestically and internationally. One of the most discussed aspects of Ratan Tata's life is his net worth. Despite being at the helm of a company worth hundreds of billions of dollars, his personal net worth is much lower than one might expect. The primary reason for this is the unique ownership structure of the Tata Group. Tata Sons, the holding company of the group, is majority owned by Tata Trusts, charitable organizations that hold about 66% of Tata Sons' equity. These trusts fund a wide array of philanthropic activities, including education, healthcare, and rural development. This structure reflects Tata's philosophy of putting society before personal wealth. As a result, his personal net worth is estimated to be around $1 billion as of 2024, a modest figure considering the value of the empire he once led. His wealth comes mainly from his shareholding in Tata Sons and his personal investments. Ratan Tata's financial focus has always been on creating value for society rather than personal enrichment. His dedication to philanthropy and giving back to the community is a cornerstone of his legacy, which sets him apart from many of his contemporaries. Despite his relatively modest personal net worth, Ratan Tata's investments, especially in emerging startups, have made him a significant figure in the world of business innovation. Over the last decade, Tata has become an active investor, particularly in the technology and e-commerce sectors. His portfolio of investments includes companies like Ola, India's leading ride-hailing service, which he backed in 2015 during its intense competition with Uber. Another significant investment is Paytm, one of India's largest digital payment platforms. Tata's early investment in Paytm came at a time when digital payments were taking off in India, and his backing played a role in boosting the company's credibility. In addition to these ventures, Tata has invested in Snapdeal, an e-commerce platform, UrbanClap now known as Urban Company, which provides home services, and Zvame, an online lingerie retailer. His portfolio also includes investments in Lensgart, an eyewear e-commerce platform, and Cure.Fit, a health and fitness startup, reflecting his interest in supporting businesses that address modern consumer needs. Beyond Indian startups, Ratan Tata has also made international investments such as in Xiaomi, the Chinese smartphone giant, and Revolut, a UK-based fintech company. These investments showcase his commitment to backing disruptive technologies and innovative business models. Ratan Tata's involvement in the startup ecosystem is not just financial. 
His guidance, mentorship, and reputation have often been as valuable as the capital he provides. Many entrepreneurs view his backing as a stamp of credibility and trust, which has helped numerous startups attract further investments and scale their operations. Under Ratan Tata's leadership, the Tata Group expanded from a predominantly Indian company to one with a significant global presence. Today, the Tata Group operates in over 100 countries and employs more than 800,000 people worldwide. The group's influence spans numerous industries, making it one of the most diversified conglomerates in the world. One of the most significant companies within the Tata Group is Tata Steel, founded in 1907. It is one of the world's largest steel manufacturers and achieved global prominence with its acquisition of Chorus, a European steel company, in 2007 for $12 billion. This acquisition marked a major step in Tata Steel's global expansion, making it one of Europe's leading steel producers. Another key company in the Tata Group is Tata Motors, India's largest automobile manufacturer. Tata Motors gained international attention with its acquisition of Jaguar Land Rover in 2008 for $2.3 billion, a move that transformed it into a global player in the automotive industry. Jaguar Land Rover has since become one of Tata Motors' most successful divisions, contributing significantly to the company's profitability. Tata Consultancy Services, TCS, is another cornerstone of the Tata Group's success. TCS is one of the world's largest IT services providers and plays a pivotal role in India's IT industry. With a market capitalization of over $150 billion, TCS is the most valuable company in the Tata Group and has helped position India as a leader in software and digital solutions. Tata Power, another important company, is India's largest integrated power company involved in the generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity. The company has made significant investments in renewable energy, with projects in solar, wind, and hydroelectric power, reflecting the group's commitment to sustainability. Tata Chemicals, a leader in chemical production, has a global presence with operations in Europe, North America, and Africa. The company specializes in chemicals, crop protection, and nutritional solutions. In the hospitality sector, the Tata Group is represented by Taj Hotels, which is part of the Indian Hotels Company Limited IHCL. Founded in 1903, Taj Hotels is one of the world's leading luxury hotel chains, known for properties like the iconic Taj Mahal Palace Hotel in Mumbai. Tata Communications, formerly known as VSNL, is a major player in global telecommunications. The company owns one of the world's most extensive submarine cable networks and provides a range of services, including cloud infrastructure and internet services. Another well-known company within the group is Titan, a leader in watches, jewelry, and eyewear. Titan's brand Tanish Q has become synonymous with high-quality jewelry in India. Voltas, a leading manufacturer of air conditioning and engineering products, and Tata Alexi, which provides design and technology services in industries such as automotive and healthcare, are also important parts of the Tata Group's diverse portfolio. The group's retail arm, Trent, operates popular chains like Westside and Zara India, catering to India's growing consumer base. In the food and beverage sector, Tata Consumer Products owns brands such as Tata Tea and Tata Salt, and its acquisition of Tetley made it one of the largest tea companies in the world. Tata Housing, focused on affordable real estate, has developed several landmark projects across India. Perhaps one of the most significant developments in recent years was Tata's reacquisition of Air India in 2021. The Tata Group had originally founded Air India in the 1930s, and its return to Tata's fold was seen as a historic move in Indian aviation. Ratan Tata's leadership of the Tata Group 
is characterized not only by business success, but also by his dedication to ethical practices and social responsibility. The majority of the group's profits are directed into Tata Trusts, which fund a wide array of philanthropic activities, including in education, healthcare, and rural development. Even after stepping down as chairman of Tata Sons in 2012, Ratan Tata continues to be an influential figure within the group and beyond. His successor, Cyrus Mystery, was eventually replaced by Natarajan Chandra Sekharan, but Tata's vision and values remain embedded in the group's operations. Despite being one of the world's most powerful business figures, Ratan Tata is known for his humility and modest lifestyle. His focus has always been on creating lasting value for society rather than personal wealth accumulation. His philanthropic work, particularly through the Tata Trusts, has had a profound impact on improving the lives of millions, both in India and globally. The Tata Group, with a market value exceeding $300 billion, continues to be a beacon of ethical business practices under his influence. From steel to software, automobiles to hospitality, the Tata name is synonymous with quality, integrity, and social responsibility. Ratan Tata's legacy is not only one of business success, but also of giving back to society, demonstrating that businesses can thrive while contributing positively to the world. His leadership continues to inspire future generations of entrepreneurs and business leaders, proving that success and philanthropy can go hand in hand.